so this is going to be the first very first look at the cockpit the brand new cockpit of my RC390 with the bubble visor we'll do a short spin and I'll give you a little glimpse of how it looks and the difference in the view and all of that good stuff stick around what is up YouTube this is your boy Rough Rider welcome to my channel just joking you're on RSU's channel chill guys but go follow Rough Rider my best boy out there what is up YouTube so this is gonna be uh, the first look and the first ride kind of thing or uh, with the new visor the cockpit view so that you guys get accustomed to the new cockpit we just got the visor installed and I'm gonna tell you a little about it and uh, yeah the pros and cons and all of that good stuff Shabash Shabash Laudu So by now you guys must have noticed uh, the visor is a lot taller and uh, that's basically what you call a bubble visor. It is used on a lot of race bikes, on TT bikes and we just got it installed as you guys saw. I may put this within the installation video itself so I may comprise both these videos into one or I may keep this as a completely separate video. Now. Uh, I bought this part from Harp Chennai on Instagram H A R P underscore Chennai I think that that's the channel uh, that's the handle and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, uh, about it and I am also gonna give you like a walk around or something like that so you guys get to see the part better I'm sure if you've seen the installation you've already seen what the visor looks like from the outside this is more of a cockpit view I think it looks bloody sick it, it's reminiscent of the RC8 very reminiscent of the RC8 and I fucking love it so I think the visor looks gorgeous it's got I went for the black one there is another one in white as well with um, a very different visor the visor and the the front fascia comes in two parts so you can always change the kind of glass that you want the the, the amount of bubble that you want in it so I did go for the black tint visor um, it gives you a little visibility through it as well so that's kind of what I like I didn't want to go for the white because uh, it was almost completely opaque and uh, I'm not a big fan of that now coming to race visors uh, there are a billion different types now for example MotoGP doesn't really use a very prominent bubble on their bikes they go for more, more, more over aerodynamics so they just keep it very subtle you would find these kind of visors on Isle of Man TT bikes for those of y'all that follow those races um, uh, the Isle of Man TT is basically a road race on the Isle of Man which is a place and um, they use very prominent bubbles because what it helps with is they're constantly tucked in right almost like this so it helps with the wind flow right over the helmet and it gives them that it gives them the few extra seconds when they tuck in for a little more aerodynamic speed however I absolutely love the look of this bubble I had the bubble on my previous visor as well from the very same maker uh, and they make I, I think their designs are just on point I love their fucking designs and that's why I always go with their products at least up to now I love the shape of it I love the design and I just love the view from the cockpit as well as from the outside and very few bubble visors for the KTM RC390 were made where you can actually enjoy a real bubble you know one where there's proper there's a proper front fascia and it comes out of that as a separate piece of glass and there are very few bubble visors that are actually designed with the thoroughbred bubble design I don't know what it's gonna come out like in this video this is the very very first time I'm recording with the bubble visor I haven't seen the footage yet so it's gonna be epic and brand new to me as well so you guys will be getting used to this brand new cockpit and uh, yeah 
I hope you guys love it as much as I do. This should be fun on the on the Sunday rides. What say guys? I'm just making a short real quick stroll video so that you guys just get a feel for it. I just want to see what it looks like on camera. I'm going to Yeah, I mean, just a first ride kind of real quick vlog. Do tell me what you guys think of the view um in the comment section. If you guys like it or you like other visors from some some place else, drop in your comments. Let me know. There are a lot of aftermarket makers. I should definitely mention that um, the mold of the visor that's made is from fiberglass, and it's definitely not um, the normal plastic kind of thing. Uh, but that did cause a huge issue for us to kind of fit onto the bike it was it had absolutely no flex at all and we had to be so careful and it took us a struggle from 1 in the afternoon to 6 in the evening to just make sure that the visor flexes from places and fits onto the bike so if you do if you guys do go for this visor you have to keep the installation part in mind um unfortunately we couldn't record all of it in the installation bit of the video because we were so crazy fucked up working out working on the on the visor that i had to sort of put the camera aside and focus on what i'm doing but the installation is an absolute task and i better warn you guys about that however i feel it's really worth the trade off because it's a beautiful visor once it's on your bike and do not do anything and take the damn thing off period just don't do anything that you need to take the goddamn visor off because fitting it back is it's your call man now one of the unique things that i noticed about uh, the design of this visor i don't know if you guys can see but i'm going to try and bend over there's a hole down there right and uh, i haven't seen any front fascias that were made uh for the rc with a cut out at the place where um the sort of stem cuts as well you know so it's it's a nice hole and it's going to give some real airy drag now i don't know if that's going to be beneficial or it's going to slow me down but um i i sort of like the touch to be very honest it looks like a ram air intake but um it's not necessarily a ram air intake for sure not on this bike but it's it's a very neat touch because they've cut it out exactly at the point i'm going to stop the bike and show it to you guys as well so we'll do that i need to show you the the little cut out my previous bike being an r15 also had a bubble visor i am just a bubble visor person once you get used to once you get used to the look of the bubble visor you just cannot go back to what the company offers you it's just there's something lacking this I don't know there's this discomfort in me when I don't have a bubble visor on my bike and I'm the kind of person that likes massive bubble visors I like the TT kinds I do not like those Fox bubble visors that KTM Power Parts makes I mean that's barely even a bubble to be very honest that's um it's a very very minor bump in the glass in the plastic however they mold it but I just need that massive race bubble look. I have to have it. It's like that. And it just it, I don't know. I just feel way way better and comfier when I have a bubble visor on my bike. I am so curious to see how this footage is going to come out. What the difference in the viewing angle for you guys is as well because this is a pretty tall visor as compared to the old one. I'll even put two clips side by side. How about that? I'm going to try doing that in my edit. and i'm going to try putting two clips side by side so that you guys can see the difference in the new visor and the old one i'm going to really try that for you guys ooh back wheel spinning out ha 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 i'm also going to try and uh, take this little stretch to see what it performs like at a slightly higher speed i haven't done this till date with this visor on i've just put it on and this is going to be the first test so let's see how this goes
I can tell you one thing guys there is an insane insane amount of wind drag that has reduced from what I used to do earlier with the previous visor it's it's night and day I was so planted when I tucked my head in I was so planted I have never felt that before on this bike to be very very honest I have never felt that kind of frontal stability like without the wind hitting me on the head and my helmet just going like all over the place like you know I haven't I have never experienced such minimal wind drag I am super happy with that run and let's see if I can do one more just to sort of make sure what I felt was right Yup, there is insane, insane amount of stability. There is ridiculous amount of stability with the bubble. I am so pleased with the performance. I am so pleased with the performance. Good job, good job, Hop. Performance you get a thumbs up installation. I'm sorry, but you guys have to really make a better mold That's just an honest honest uh, opinion And I'm not gonna change that for anything I'm gonna try and give you a walk around of the bike now and show you what it looks like on the outside That's what the visor looks like in person As you guys see this was the intake that I was talking about and if you look at it it goes straight through and through that's how KTM's designed it as well so they have adhered to the bikes design and they've gone by that they haven't done any stupid shit in the bargain I absolutely love the way it looks it I have never seen anything more stunning to be very honest it looks absolutely monstrous let me know what you guys think man I absolutely love the damn look of this visor so that was a little walk around and uh, I really hope you like how it looks from the outside I'm pretty sure you've already seen it if not in this video uh, you must have seen it in the installation video before this if you haven't I mean I'll link it or whatever just go look at it if you want to see how it looks from the outside and uh, yeah back to a little riding we can head home all right guys it's a wrap from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with people who want to buy the part, share it with people who love videos like this, simple. Like, comment, subscribe, don't forget guys, it helps us a lot. Once again, thank you for watching the video, peace out, boom.